Today, I'm going to show you how to monitor the progress of the student. So there are many ways to monitor the progress. So I'll just show you a few of those. So this question is passed by one of our colleagues. So what you need to do is you have to you have to log in to your uh, smart UMS, go into your course. Okay. After that, go to the administration. Click on the edit settings. Scroll down. There's a setting for completion tracking. Click on it. There's a option called enable completion tracking. You have to select yes. So when you have select yes from the uh, for the completion tracking, then from this moment onwards, all the activity for all the participants in the course will be tracked. After that, save changes. Okay. So the next thing that you want to do is go to the course page, turn editing on, click on the turn editing on, okay. after that go down, you can see the option here, after you have turned on, turn editing on, add a block, select, progress bar, okay. So now you just add a progress, pro progress bar in the course. Okay. The next thing you need to do is you select the activity or resource that you need to, uh, that you want to monitor. You can add all activity or resource or you can select some of those. So in this case, you want to select some of those, just click on the select activities and resource. So in this case, I just want to monitor some of the uh, uh, resource that I post in a smart UMS in this course. So for example, I want to monitor this one. So I just click monitor. Yes. Action. So the action the participant have to be have have to be complete. Okay. Before it's considered complete. Okay, mean the action that participant had to take before it's considered complete. So in this case, you can select view. So as long as the participant has clicked on the file and view the file, then it's considered complete. Okay. So maybe I select another one. This one. Yes. View. Okay. And can you can save changes. So now you can see there's a progress bar, two items. Okay. You can click overview student. Then they will provide you a list of the student if you have many students and which of the students have complete their progress. So in this case there are two far. So they have to view each of these. So the red color show that the student have not complete the action yet. So this is one way you can monitor. So you can go back to the course. So now say I want to monitor the forum. So why what you need to do is just go back to the progress bar. You see on this setting action. Okay, click on it. Configure progress bar block. Just click on it. Then you can select other activities or resource that you want to monitor. In this case, I want to monitor this forum. I just click. Yes. Okay. 
and the action is the student need to post to this forum after that I just save changes <coughs> so now you can see now you monitor three of the activity and resource in the course okay. so the next another way that you can monitor the student is to check if for the student so you just click on the participant select the student So once you select the student, then you can click on the activity report. Okay, see here, profile setting for user. Go to the activity reports. You can monitor their today rocks. Just to show you the activity of today so this is hours or you can select all logs so show you all the activity of the student and the activity that have been completed and you also can have a complete report for the student so it show that what student have to do. For example, this student have not seen the file yet, have not post anything. Okay, so this is how you can configure a progress bar in your course to monitor all the students whether or not they complete certain activities or complete an action for a resource. At the same time, you also can view the progress by going into the profile of each student and check their activity report.